Cardboard cut out, sharp teeth, smart mouth. Smile big, small waist, big hips, cut pace. Forgive me, but you look familiar. Hello, everyone. This is Meet the People. I'm your host, Niall Campbell, and I'm here with James. Hey, hey James hey, hey. takes New York. That's me. James the artist. James the artist. James the poppin' artist that gets noticed by everyone who is just, you know, doing his thing out here in DC, New York, and you just about to see him all over the place. Appreciate it. So James, James, you're an artist. Okay, and some people they hear the word artist and they think of what? Like a musician, da da da. Yeah, yeah. But you're actually a legit artist, like Yeah, like physical pencil paper art art. Yeah, like he literally draws. Yeah. It's a rarity. So yeah, this, is, yeah. this is a great interview right here already because yeah. we're talking to a legit artist. And right? even when it comes to art, mm -hmm. a lot of people that do art do like digital art. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how to do digital art. You yeah. literally, literally like color pencil. Yes, yeah, since like pre K, got into it the same way everybody else got into it. Same like art classes that everyone else took. Mm -hmm. You know, I just. It just stuck with me. Yeah, so we have the modern day Picasso here. Picasso. <laughs> All right, so yeah, like you said, you got into art when you were in pre-K, mm -hmm. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. um, but when did you realize that this was actually a real talent? I want to say around like fifth grade, mm -hmm. my teacher actually called my mom, had me stay after school, my art teacher, um, called my mom and was like, hey, uh, I really want to push James because I'm giving him the same assignments that I'm giving everyone else, but it doesn't take as much for him to do that, so I really need him to do more things outside of that. So she she told me to draw something, what was it? It had to be patriotic. Mm -hmm. um, just anything patriotic. So I drew, it was like the Statue of Liberty, like a bald eagle like flying past, like with a flag in its mouth. and. I showed her, she's like, this is great. She submitted it to this art show. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know she did. Her and my mom were like working behind the scenes. Yeah. And I got like second place. Wow, and this is fifth grade. Yeah, I'm like 10 years old. That's crazy. Wow. And okay. since then I was like, all right, maybe I need to push it. Yeah, and so now you're just like drawing any and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so you tend to draw a lot of people, correct? Yeah. Um, is it harder to do that? Like, how are you able, because I feel like you know, people, like for me, I can't draw at all. I can't mm -hmm. draw a lick. But it's so hard to like, draw like the nose and the eyes. Like, how did you learn how to do that? I've always loved modeling. Okay. I would always watch America's Next Top Model. Mm -hmm. Always see when Ty was like talking about the smiles, talking about, you know, all that. And so I really put a whole bunch of focus into that. And it kind of led to my eventual like love of art and fashion, like kind of marrying that but through like celebrity portraits and just drawing people, that's that's the true passion. Okay, so your artwork, um, you mentioned like celebrity portraits. Your mm -hmm. artwork has gotten noticed by tons of celebrity. Yeah. Rihanna, yeah. Pharrell, Calvin yeah. Klein. Calvin um, Klein, Maybelline, Jordan Dunn, Kid Cudi. Um, let's keep going. Beyonce. Oh my gosh. Nicki Minaj. Say her name again, Beyonce? Beyonce, yeah. I don't know if you've heard of yeah. her. I don't know. She's yeah. like this artist who does like visual art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I mentioned Rihanna, so like tell yeah, me, yeah. how did that feel, I guess? you know. Just that like, was crazy. Rihanna was the first celebrity ever to see my artwork. Mm -hmm. So I was really freaking out. I uh, drew a picture of her and my friend for my friend's birthday. Mm -hmm. Draw the picture, I show it to him, he's freaking out. He takes a picture, he posts it, tags her in it. Mm -hmm. I post it, tag her in it. I'm not thinking anything of it. Uh, like I said, it's my friend's birthday, so we're all just partying. Mm -hmm. I look down at my phone and I see my notifications are going crazy. Like literally That's how crazy. You know like, something happened. My phone yeah. is about to die. Crazy. <laughs> I was like, what? And I look and I see Rihanna liked your picture zero seconds ago. Like at bad gal Riri. Mm -hmm. I was like, you had to double check to make sure. Oh those god! Fake faces yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Okay, yeah. Where's like bad? Followers, yeah. Like G R L. Yeah. Like not G I R L. Yeah. But nah, it was her. That's crazy. I was like, yo. I would have died. It was crazy. And she hasn't. She's like multiple pictures, correct or no? Yeah, she's seen like two or three. 
So basically, she's just a fan at this point. Yeah. Rihanna's a fan of you. What? This thing like that. Rihanna's like, <laughs> I just put it yeah, that way. It's like, crazy. That. She's like, oh, uh, she's waiting for another one, and I think you gotta like drop another one soon. I should. She I should. I did one me. for her uh, anti album. She didn't see that, so back out, Riri, if you out there. You're like James just drew something for you didn't even notice. <laughs> Go to <laughs> at James takes in Okay. It's down there somewhere. Scroll around. Um. So Pharrell has also noticed your work, and you're still yeah. working on that piece, right? Yeah, he has a company called I Am Other. Mm -hmm. um, they liked it. And then the photographer, one of his photographers, his name is Nicholas Maggio, he commented on it. So I was really freaking out about that. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, now, you know, you also got noticed by Jordan Dunn, correct? Yeah. Now, can you tell that? Because you, you got noticed by her, but you even, like, went the extra mile. Yeah. And, you and actually, like, her. met her yeah. and got her to, like, got her signature. Yeah, go ahead. Tell me what happened. Yeah, so I... I actually heard about H and M and Balmain mm -hmm. doing a collab, but it was before um, before the information was really like legit. It was mm -hmm. just like New York kind of like gossip. I was like, oh man, if this is real, I really need to like find a picture, draw it, and get on it. So when the buzz about their collab is out, my picture is gonna gonna be like just as hot. Yeah, you know. So. Um, it was some award show that they went to, but Oliver Roosting, who's the creative director of Balmain, mm -hmm. him, Jordan Dunn, and Kendall Jenner, they all went to this award show together. And Kendall and Jordan were both wearing that H&M Balmain collab. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh God, it's real, it's real. Like screenshot, times a thousand. And I just drew like that whole entire day. I was. Yo, I just like went to the cut mm -hmm. somewhere, like far away from my phone, away from everyone, just drawing all day. I posted it probably like 11 p.m. and I was working from like the beginning of the day. Mm -hmm. I posted, all these people are liking it, and then Jordan Dunn likes it. I'm like, yo, okay, okay, yeah. mission accomplished. All right, bet. Yeah, but it was different from when Rihanna liked it because I was still living in Maryland at that time. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not just trying to stay at the same, you know, at the yeah. same level doing the same thing. Like, I need to bring it up a notch. Mm -hmm. And I'm in New York at this point, so I'm like, yo, how can I, how can I take this to the next level? Mm -hmm. I saw that Jordan Dunn was going to be at a Maybelline event in New York. So, I'm plotting. Yeah. Plotting, scheming. What about do? I'm like, okay, let me go up there, try to meet her, let me bring this, hopefully she likes it. Mm -hmm. Everything right. happens. She's like, oh, I remember this from Instagram, this look at Kendall. Yeah, look at, she's an I was like, what? Just, yeah. yeah, she's British, she's <laughs> British. But I'm like, yo, can you sign this? I love you so much. And she signs it and she's just talking to me like, this is amazing, keep at it. I remember seeing this on Instagram, mm -hmm. like, sheesh. So um, you mentioned earlier you're from Maryland. Mm -hmm. So has the DMV, like being in the DMV, uh, inspired your art at all? Definitely. I think the DMV is such a like melting pot of artists, mm -hmm. but people don't realize it because they're not in a place like Chicago or like LA or like New York or Miami. They they feel like they have to be somewhere like that for them to really take off. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you have to start at home, you know? Mm -hmm. You've moved to New York. Um, what has that been like? Because New York's not cheap. I was out there for the summer, and I literally was like, how do people survive? So New how York do you do it? New not cheap at all. Yeah. Initially, I was uh, living on campus. Okay. Because I was there at St. John's. Uh -huh. Super expensive. But the other times that I was there, I would be like, hey, so-and-so, like, my friend, like, search contacts, like, can I stay with you? Yeah, can I, I stay with couch. you? Yeah, can until eventually you, like, run out of resources. Yeah. And you just got to make it happen on your own. So I'm about to go back out there soon. Because being there is just, it's a dream. Yeah. And when it comes to, like, fashion and art yeah. and media, New York is like the pinnacle. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, no, New York, New York is, Fashion Week. Yeah. What? Now, um, you know, like being an artist and really getting into any type of media industry, we're not always guaranteed money. 
So do you have like any side hustles that you're doing? Like, side hustles, yeah. definitely. I serve and I bartend. Okay. Um, and I've been doing that like I want to say for like three. Years. Okay. So you can mix the drinks. Yeah, carry mix drinks, yeah. carry food, balance, yeah, juggle, you one foot tight, okay. no. you know. And you need that as an artist. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. All. yeah. But um, there was definitely a point in time where I was like, okay, I know that people are looking at me as this artist mm -hmm. or as this person that's like grinding, that's really like going to be something or working towards something. Mm -hmm. And so I was really embarrassed to kind of let people behind the curtain and see like, all right, when I'm not doing this, this is what I'm doing. Yeah. But I recently got over that, and it's it's to the point, like, I can't be worrying yeah, about okay. what other people are thinking about me. Like, you're it's so... It's my side hustle for a reason, because yeah. one day I'm going to be making bank right, right. all these pictures right now. Living but at the same York, time, yeah. I'm glad that you have, like, high expectations yeah. of me. Yeah, yeah. But I just felt like I would be like disappointing people or feel like I'm kind of like lying to people. Yeah, I know. So let them know like what I'm really, how I'm making money and living day to day. So now I, I talked with you about this earlier, but you want to move into like merchandise and designing. Can you explain that a little bit more? Yeah, yeah. What is designing in your eyes? I feel that with a lot of artists, when they move into the fashion realm, mm -hmm. that it's like, okay, I drew this stick figure, I'll take this stick figure, put it on a shirt. Mm -hmm. like just a regular like crew neck sell it mm -hmm. like what whatever this is that you're putting here like that's that's a cool concept yeah but like it's where's so the individuality in it and so i want to move toward making something that's really like a reflection of who i am and my aesthetic which i guess i'm still trying to figure out mm -hmm. but soon with my artwork i would have phone cases I want to have like stickers that you can put like on your laptop, on your skateboard, whatever. Take these celebrity portraits and make it like available to everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, like if you like it, I don't want you to just double tap it and move on. Like, yeah. I want it to hang in your walls yeah. or hang in your living room. Yeah, yeah. Why not have it at your house? Like, why should I not like have digital? digital portraits or like digital copies that I can sell, sign. Yeah. You know, that's the direction I want to go with it. So before we close out, um, one thing about Meet the People is getting to know the person behind. And I think we've done a really great job of that. But I also want to make sure that you give advice to those that want to become an artist and those that like sit in their bedroom and they're like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this. It's not going to make that much money or whatever. Um, and just kind of just give your advice and give your take on that. Okay. I think that if you are trying to go into any field you cannot be afraid of what other people think of you that's number one because you will hold yourself back trying to put other people's opinions before your own opinion of yourself that's like number one advice number two work hard push if you have a side hustle don't ever let that side hustle overshadow the dream because it's so easy to let that happen to be like this is what's actually getting me money. This is what I should focus on. No, you need to look look at it exactly as that, a side hustle. Like, this is secondary. This is the side gig. This is what you need to focus on. And if you really take both of those and run with it, you can do anything. Well, thank anything. You. I appreciate that. So, you all, this has been Meet the People, and you all just met James. James takes me. This is James. You are watching Meet the People. My Twitter handle is James Takes in Y. Instagram, James Takes in Y. Tumblr, email, James Takes in Y at gmail.com. Follow me. Keep up. Meet the People.